Well, here's my latest 350 um, Royal Enfield Redditch 350 Asbo engine and building, and it's nearly complete. And um, I've just been putting some finishing touches to it actually. And I needed to turn the crank, spin the crank, um, which I have in the past used an adjustable spanner closed down to fit the splines on the end of the near the end of the main shaft there. Uh, well, not the end, but um, where the drive sprocket would normally fit. But that's not ideal and the uh, adjustables can open up gradually as you spin them and then wobble around and flick off. And I found that this 24mm ring spanner is a perfect fit over the splines of the drive side main shaft. And it's ideal for spinning the engine over. And it, uh, Because it's got that sort of crank in it there it clears these studs no problem. That's great, but I've also found another thing, in the case of this spanner at least, there we are, I've got my top dead centre tool in there, that's around about the top there, I've found that um, the spanner won't actually fit the splines and point straight to the top at top dead centre, but moved round a notch, i found that when I back it up, to there and get it pointing straight up. I'm actually at the lower of the uh, acceptable full advance ignition timing figures um, of 7 16 of an inch. Uh, the figures given in the Redditch book are 7 16 of an inch to half an inch before top dead centre. And this gauge here works in millimetres. So we want about 11 of them for 7 sixteenths. Hopefully we might see them here. And I'm going to move the engine to top dead centre. And there we are. We're at top dead centre there. And when I back up, get the spanner pointing straight up to the top again. Let's see if we can see those numbers. There they are. Hopefully they'll come out on the camera. Can you see those? I'm going to back up, get the uh, spanner pointing straight up again. And there's the full advance firing point. The spanner pointing straight up, so I'll keep that in mind. Certainly for my own reference at the moment. I suppose spanners are going to vary from make to make and from one to another, but this one you can't get away from it, at least the fit of the ring spanner is excellent on the splines of that main shaft. Very, very useful. And uh, if you're as lucky as I've been with the spanner, it might just prove to be extra useful. And give you your top dead centre firing point, uh, your, your firing point in... Uh, degrees, millimetres, inches, whatever you want it to be, but that's it. When that spanner points straight up on mine, I'm at the fully advanced firing point that I want. So when I come to time this one up for the ignition, at full advance I'll have this spanner on it pointing straight up, and I'll know that the ignition timing is right. So that's a little bit of a bonus.